We get together today to celebrate the fifth week of Lent. And we are getting closer to the grand celebration of Easter. In today's Gospel, Jesus clearly reveals to us His divine and human nature. John describes this very act with these words. In the beginning, it was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Then he said, the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. The one that became flesh and is dwelling among us is our Lord Jesus Christ, the same one who wept for his friend who was dead, and the same one who has the power over it and is the resurrection itself. Without doubt, this passage into the God of the Gospel invites us to rediscover our faith in the Son of God, to trust in Him completely, just as He trusts the Father, and then invite us, like Mary and Maria, to trust in Him and experience the grace of God. The story of the resurrection of Lazarus wants us to communicate this truth. Jesus brings life to all peoples. He is the source of life for those who believe in Him and as we listen to this gospel, Jesus is challenging us to believe in his promises. And of course, to believe that he is always with us in the good times and in our difficult times. My dear brothers and sisters, in this time, in the time of Jesus, and in our days, the Jews believe in the resurrection. But it's not enough to believe in the resurrection at the end of times. We must believe that the resurrection is already here, today, in Jesus. And in those who believe in Him, death no longer holds power over us if we believe in our Lord Jesus. Because Jesus is the resurrection and the life. And as we heard in the Gospel, He said to Martha that He is the resurrection and invite her to come and believe. Yes, Martha said, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ the Son of God, the one who was to come into this world. Today, we are invited to profess our faith like Martha, that Jesus is the Son of God, that He was the one who was sent to come and save this world and save your life and my life. And as we can see also in Jesus, we cannot forget that the divine, the divinity of our Lord in this passage of the Gospel is also united to His humanity, a humanity that brings us closer to Him. So remember that if you are praying because you are in so much pain, Jesus is there praying and suffering with you. If you are praying and giving thanks for the many blessings that you are receiving, Jesus is there with you as well. Finally, my dear friends, we are called to see Jesus' face in others because His incarnation is taking flesh over and over 
not only in our own life, but also in the life of those who are in need. Amen.